How's it guys and welcome back to Ultimate Exotics. So in today's video we're going to be looking back a few years at a very special snake that we bred here at Ultimate Exotics. Now this snake that hatched out, it's, but it's a once in a lifetime snake and we couldn't believe our eyes when we saw it. It, was, it, it happened about five years ago in 2015 and we were just going through, it was a normal day here at Ultimate Exotics, it was egg hatching season and uh, Sofiso, our manager of our snake section, he was taking out babies from the incubator and setting them up into their holding tubs where we keep them for about a week and once they shed we then put them into their individual enclosures for feeding. And uh, he, he removed all the snakes uh, early that morning. Um, I then came through a little bit later to check on the snakes that he had taken out the incubator and I was going through the clutches. And like normal, I was inspecting the babies, some beautiful babies hatching. I went through our Florida King snake clutch and as I was going through the sawdust, uh, I was scraping through, I saw a nice baby, another nice baby, and then all of a sudden, I saw a snake with two heads. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I was seeing double, and it was just incredible. I had to, I, 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 I lost my breath, I was speechless. And uh, I came running through in excitement, just screaming, we bred a snake with two heads, we got a two-headed snake. And uh, it was a really incredible thing. And now the challenge started and we thought, can we keep the snake alive? Because two-headed snakes often do not have a great um, rate of survival. And what we're going to do in today's video, I'm going to show you a few clips from the past of this incredible snake and how we raised it. Unfortunately, we do not have the snake yet at Ultimate Exotics anymore. And, uh, but at least we do have some great footage and we can show you this incredible two-headed Florida king snake. So before we have a look at some footage of our two-headed snake, I thought I'd just explain to you a little bit more about these two-headed snakes and how they occur. So a two-headed snake is a snake that suffers from a condition known as bicephalism and that means an animal that has more than two heads. Now how this happens is it is a fusion of monozygotic twin embryos in the egg. So in the egg, these twin embryos are, or the embryo is splitting to become a twin, uh, to become twins. And during that split, it then stops. And this results in a snake, the animal starting to split has two heads, but one body. Now, what makes a two-headed snake so rare is that often the split doesn't happen in the right place, uh, which, allow, which means that the animal cannot survive. So sometimes the split happens too far up so the head is deformed and split badly or too far down. So a lot of two-headed snakes do not survive. But, uh, and that's what makes a two-headed snake that can live and eat and live a normal life so rare. Because a split has to happen in a perfect place. And that is what happened with our Florida king snake. And in my opinion, it was definitely one of the best examples of a two-headed snake that I've ever seen. Because um, it just the split was so perfect and the animal could eat so well and everything was so perfect So it was really incredible and they say that it is very rare um, it does happen in a lot of other animals throughout the animal kingdom, but um, the, the rarity they say is about one in every 100,000 um, I'm not sure how accurate that is, but that's that's uh, just from the literature that I saw But I think it's even rarer to get one that actually can live a normal life So I think those odds go far um, further than one in a hundred thousand. So one of the first questions that we're going to go through that we had a lot of was how did the snake move? Which head decided to go where? And I must say the movement wasn't too bad, but at times it did get a bit confused because they do have both obviously their own individual brains and their own ideas of where they want to go. But generally their movement was okay. And we're going to show you some footage now of them moving. You can see at times they got a little bit stuck and a little bit confused, but then they quickly sort it out and they carry on. So let's have a look at that footage.
So once we discovered our two-headed king snake, we had to decide what are we gonna call our girls? Because we probed it and it was a girl snake with two heads. So we had to get a name for our two girls. So we came up with the name Hydra. And Hydra is a name for a Greek serpent god with many heads. So it was a perfect name for our two-headed snake. Then probably the most popular question is which head eats? Now, that was our biggest concern when we first had the snake, is are both heads going to eat? Because we, we would like to um, be sure that we can feed both heads so that one head doesn't deteriorate. They both get that exercise and the feeding, uh, and work those feeding muscles and the jaw muscles so that both basically feel like they're living a normal life. One of the most obviously important things that we wanted to make sure is we gave them a small prey size because they were getting two meals at a time. We didn't want it to grow too fast and we didn't want to cause any unnecessary harm on the snake when they're trying to swallow their prey items. So we always gave them meal size that were um, smaller than what the, the actual snake could handle. So what we started by doing is we would just kind of um, introduce, we would uh, show a pinky at, and, uh, to one of the heads and hopefully let them bite on which one did. And then as soon as that one had its mouth full, would quickly um, put a pinky in front of the other uh, uh, snake's head so that it couldn't bite onto the same prey item. Obviously, that would be a disaster and the snake would end up probably killing itself. So the, the, the key thing that we needed to do was make sure both mouths were full and had a meal in them at all times. And they were swallowing pretty much at, both, uh, at the same rate. Now, obviously, everyone was wondering, what happens when it gets to the to the the joining the joining part the single part and most of the time the, the snake that took the pinky first would often get that uh, fuzzy down or pinky down first and then the other one would follow we never really saw them got stuck and one would always kind of work its way down before the other and we never had any issues so let's have a look at some footage of our two-headed snake eating Another point to mention is a two-headed snake. It's a one, like we mentioned, it's a very rare thing. It's a once-off random thing that happens and occurs in nature. It is not something that can be reproduced or bred. And it would never be a good thing to try and breed with a two-headed snake. Its body is probably under enough stress already with this abnormality. And um, so it's definitely not something that can be reproduced. It's not a mutation. It's a once-off random thing that occurs in nature.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing that footage of our beautiful two-headed Florida king snake that we bred here at Ultimate Exotics. It was such a privilege to be able to work with that snake and we are so lucky to have bred it here. Uh, Hydra was a beautiful freak of nature and something we'll never ever forget. It was an incredible experience. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment below and most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep well. Cheers.